Welcome in. It's 5 o'clock. I'm Jamie Costello alongside of Kelly Swoop. First, it was Baltimore City Police announcing sweeping reforms to the way it polices, and now Baltimore County is announcing similar changes. Today, County Executive Kevin Kamenetz, along with Chief Jim Johnson, announced changes and reviews to three key areas of law enforcement. ABC 2 News' Brian Kubler here now to explain it for us. Kelly, body cameras, sexual assault investigations, de-escalation training, and the way officers handle those with behavioral health issues. The Baltimore County Executive is ordering an independent review in all these areas after at least two high-profile deaths involving police. First, the obvious change. Body cameras will be rolled out much faster. Instead of just 40 officers trained and outfitted per month, it will now go to 144, a full-force deployment 15 months ahead of schedule. Next, independent reviews. The first one directed at the department's policies on sexual assault investigations with an immediate directive that every second-degree assault victim will be interviewed by a sexual assault team detective. The other review is focused on how police handle those with behavioral health issues and de-escalation training tactics. All changes, County Executive Kevin Cabinet says, are an effort to open communication and transparency in response to recent national events. And these have been very challenging times for police community relations across the country. Anytime a citizen or a police officer dies or is injured during a confrontation, our hearts are saddened. But Kamenetz stopped short of mentioning recent high-profile cases right here in Baltimore County. The shooting death of Corinne Gaines by Baltimore County Police followed by the in-custody death of Tawan Boyd, the young man who died days after a confrontation with police in Essex. I'm not identifying specific cases, but I will tell you that there have been many incidents that have occurred over the years both in Baltimore County and across the nation that have uh, required us to take this step if we really want to be the best police department we can be. Still, local lawmakers say those incidents should create pause and that now is the perfect time for the department to look into the mirror and update policies. Officers being able to de-escalate situations in that nature would help hopefully bring out a better outcome. And I know that there are some things that are lawful but, but awful. And I think the Korean Gaines situation would definitely fall into that particular category. Now, this announcement also comes after this week's apology from the president of the International Association of Chiefs of Police, apologizing for the actions of the past and the role law enforcement has played in society's historical mistreatment of communities of color. Baltimore County Police Chief Jim Johnson was at that conference in California this week, and we'll have his reaction to that apology coming up tonight on In Focus. All right.